I'm Francesco Ganis, a PhD student from the Multisensory Experience Lab at Aalborg University. Together with professors Alia Giorlu, Stefania Serafin, and Lone Percy Smith, we develop a gamified training for children with auditory nerve deficiency and cochlear implants. Our goal was to create a fun and engaging training activity that addresses the challenges faced by these children. We collaborated closely with clinicians, parents, and their children to ensure the experience meets their needs and therapeutic goals. While people with cochlear implants often struggle with sound perception and localization, individuals with auditory nerve deficiency face additional hurdles. To address these issues, we incorporated vibrotactile feedback as a supportive tool during training sessions. The Sony DualSense controller, known for its high quality vibration, was chosen for this purpose. Our case study involved a 7-year-old child who received a cochlear implant three years ago. Inspired by memory card games, we developed a music training video game that gradually increases in difficulty. The game focuses on helping children recognize the timbre of different musical instruments. Through our study, we aim to validate our hypothesis that this video game, combined with vibrotactile feedback, improves timbre recognition in children with auditory nerve deficiency. Our future plans include expanding the training to include other musical aspects, such as pitch, and exploring sound processing techniques to enhance specific musical characteristics using vibrotactile feedback. If you have any questions or would like more information, please join us at the VCCA 23 session or reach out to us directly. Thank you.